All right, guys, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun here. Now, don't judge me, but I bought a whole bunch of AliExpress watches. Uh, I guess my goal was to try and see if I could find either some good deals or watches that I thought would be <laughs> kind of funny or interesting. So we'll see which one this is. Oh, fashion watch. Okay, just to make sure that I... And, uh, oh, what is this? All right. Yes. There it is. All right. I'll see, I'll see if I can find a video or something, or I'll make one. Um, if not, then, yeah. All right, I'll get right into it. Right, so I could not find a video anywhere. Um, what I will say is that uh, Soki, the company, um, although I couldn't find anything about uh, you know any videos, at least I suppose if I tried really hard, I might find something somewhere. But I was unable to actually find. Is it even work? Okay, good. It does. Um, I couldn't find anything, at least. Uh, you know, in, in the cursory look that I took. So, sorry, no video. But um, I did have to take a look at this watch to find out uh, a few things about it. So first, I got this watch for $3.84 shipped. <laughs> so that's not bad. I mean, that is at least what this strap is worth. So the fact that the watch came with it is, is not a bad deal. Um, so let's just get right into it. It's a Soki watch. It's a 200 meter water resist. And I'll put the chart right up. You know, no, no, no. It's not water resist. Look at this. Look at this picture. There's not even a gasket on it. There's no gasket. So, you know, it's not 200 meters as it says. Um, it's not even at all water resistant. And then <laughs> when I actually look at the, uh, the auction site, which you can see here, it, it literally says not water, it's, well, it says no water resistant. Uh, so yeah, not water resistant, that's just for looks. Um, but you know, for $3.84, what can I expect? I mean, I'm pretty pretty pleased uh, with three eighty four. dollars I mean, how can I go wrong? I, I tried to find like one of the cheapest watches I could possibly find, and this turned out to be it. So, you know, gosh, look at that. It's like the metal's so cheap that it actually comes off dirty. This, this is like a brand new, whatever. All right, steel back, stand this, man, I don't know how, whatever. All right, so <clears throat> it's got date uh, and time, normal three-hander. Another thing you notice too is, uh, I think it's been sitting for a while. I, I did clean this, right? Okay, yeah, because I think there's a little bit of film on the underside as well. <clears throat> so the movement's kind of interesting. This is the first time I've actually gotten a movement, a, a watch with a, a legitimate Chinese movement in it. Because I'll tell you, a lot of the times when I buy watches like this uh, from AliExpress, they actually have Japanese movements in them because it's, there's, you know, some of these Japanese movements, like the PC32A is so inexpensive that, uh, you know, you buy them in bulk, that they just go ahead and put them in the Chinese watches anyways, because why try and re remake it? But this watch um, has an HJ32 in it. Uh, so that's not a Hattori. It's not a Seiko. But it is their version, the Chinese uh, copycat version of the of the PC32A. <clears throat> which is effectively basically just a, a lady's watch movement. It fits in the smallest of watches. You can see here, I'll put, uh, where's my finger? Yeah, right there. I'll put pictures of the movement. Uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, it is, again, that is the HJ32, you can see. And then I'll quickly put the PC32A right there so you can kind of take a look. Similar size, similar function, basically do the same thing, tell time. Uh, same dimensions, but the, the, uh, the HJ32 is just a cheaper, much cheaper version. I think they even use the same batteries. 
Um, the glass, not even mineral, it, well, so the crystal, right? Not even mineral crystal, literally just a piece of glass, which is, which is interesting, right? I mean, it's what it is, right? This is, this is cheap. So I don't even think there's any loom. I would be very surprised if there's loom. If there's loom on this, I'll take a picture uh, and you can see it over here. Um, but I think really the best part about this watch has to be the strap. Now, the buckle is kind of cheap. Uh, I'll tell you what, any real pressure on this strap and I think you're going to lose the watch because um, even this piece will just bend and break. Uh, I mean, this I could pull this apart right now and just totally ruin it. So, but the strap itself is a double layer canvas strap. So that's actually kind of nice. Um, if there was a particular color you were looking for, I would just say, go buy one of these watches on AliExpress for, for under $4 and then you've got yourself a, a strap. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, they're, they're cheap also. I, I think I'd much rather get something a little bit nicer, but if you just had a watch and you just wanted to put a cheap strap on it, it works. So this was their military watch. And I looked at some of their advertisements. Um, here's a picture of somebody wearing one on top of an amp for whatever reason. I don't know what, what that's for. And here's somebody being, you know, all tough, you know, with the hand fist, rah. And then um, just, I don't know, the person wearing it again for advertising purposes. But yeah, there it is. All right, let's measure this sucker. This is... <clears throat> 40, 41, okay, and the lug is probably, I'm going to say 22, All right, 22, yep, 22, thickness, man, I always get these wrong, come on, come on, 12, 10, I'm so, so bad at that, okay, all right, here, lug, I'm going to say like 48, 46, okay, uh, and let's do some weight, let's see what this little guy weighs. Thirty-five and a half. So there you go. And let's see if any of this stuff even. I don't think there's anything going on with this, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see. Oh, I think there is. I think there is. Well, I'll put a picture right here if I can. So, but I don't think there's anything. All right. Well, if you thoroughly enjoyed this uh, review of a less than four dollar watch then please give me a thumbs up um otherwise if you didn't like it please give me a thumbs up anyways <laughs> um and uh, please subscribe really appreciate it thank you very much